Good morning, all of you, and uh, thank you for being with us today. Dr. Sridhar has recently joined us as Director of Neurosciences, so he is uh, heading the department. And uh, a lot of you have been part of various functions in the last one, one and a half months about the liver transplant and the entire liver education program and the way we have created that as a center of excellence here. In keeping with the same philosophy, the hospital has an aim to create centers of excellence in various disciplines. Our focus now is to create a similar center for neurosciences in this hospital. That's the reason we have you know, we've brought in a team of... The problem Mr. Dr. had was pain in the face. Uh, if you look at him now, why don't you come here, Mr. He's a research scientist from Ghana. He's, uh, he's somebody who's, who's very well read, a very learned person, and uh, was, he's a scientist. And he is somebody who, who's because of a pain on his face, uh, was unable to eat, drink water, uh, suffered and even had to uh, stop working for quite some time. And this pain was actually then diagnosed in Ghana. Uh, start, he was started on medication but which did not help and therefore uh, a surgery was needed to help him and uh, through his friends and relatives uh, he came to us here. We did a surgery the, the uh, neuralgia means nerve pain. Trigeminal is the fifth nerve which... What happens is that near the brain stem, which is the most important part of the brain, there is a, a blood vessel, a very normal blood vessel, which lies in very close contact uh, with the nerve, which is the trigeminal nerve, which takes sensation from the face. And because it goes on beating on the nerve, the nerve gets irritated and any sensation that uh, the face feels, whether it is the blower of a fan or the AC or whether it is a, a speech on the face, anything is felt as spasms, electric shock like pain. And this is a very distressing pain. It is not something which, I mean we are saying pain is a simple thing, but it is a very, very distressing pain. And I've had patients who, when this pain is not controlled, they may even try to commit suicide. Now, if this pain is not controlled with medicine, then we have to, the best next alternative is a surgical procedure, which is done from behind the ear. A small opening is made in the skull, and using a microscope, an operating microscope under high magnification, what we do is we go to the nerve near the brain stem and we delicately separate the blood vessel which is the offender. It is not an abnormal blood vessel. It's a normal blood vessel on a normal nerve but they are in abnormal contact. So we have to make a new route for the blood vessel. We reroute the blood vessel so that it is no more in contact with the nerve. And once that is done, the patient's pain is relieved and slowly the patient can be withdrawn from the medication. So this is because of the teeth, it may be because of sinuses, uh, so there is a great delay in diagnosis, number one. After diagnosis is made, medication has to be taken. Now medication has to be taken lifelong in a very precise manner and that is often not possible uh, by many people either because of the cost or because of the nature of you need to take the medication or because the medication does not suit the patient. There is one more reason that even if you take the medication in high dose, the pain does not go away. So very often people are not aware that there is an alternative to this which is in the form of surgery. And this surgery does not destroy any of the normal structures. 
there are other modalities of treatment for hysterism and neuralgia which are destructive procedures. We we can cut the nerve, we can we can inject alcohol into the nerve, even uh, some form of radiation or radio surgery is totally numb. It's uh, it's very distressing. The advantage of the surgery is that you are able to restore a pain-free life but retaining the sensation of the face the function of the nerve is still there and that's the advantage and this awareness is not there in, in a lot of people and that is what we want to highlight here that thank you very much dr shrina uh, first i need to uh, mention that i am a research scientist I hold a phd in uh, phytochemistry and i happen to be Phytochemistry. Plant chemistry. Plant chemistry. PHYTO. Uh, until recently, January, I had to give up my position as a deputy director of a research institution because of this condition. Um, it was interfering with my work. And uh, six years ago, this is when it all started. Um, I received some treatment. And then uh, it appeared for about two weeks um, and then after that it came up again I received treatment and uh, with time it was coming up more frequently and more intense uh, in the last 18 months I have suffered a lot uh, three months ago that was when it was worse I couldn't eat I couldn't drink and uh, I was in pain I was hospitalized on two occasions. Uh, my wife would bear testimony. Uh, the pain was so excruciating. Relief, and we started talking to a few friends. We have some Indian friends in Ghana who decided to find out whether we can have treatment in India. And so I, don't, I want to acknowledge at this point um, some of the people who were instrumental in making my make it possible for me to come here. Uh, Salim uh, Maniken, please could you stand up? Um, she's been lovely, uh, went all the way to uh, track Dr. Shrida, and uh, we arranged to have a telephone uh, discussion after his CV had been sent to me, because I needed to, uh, in a matter of three, four weeks, uh, everything was done. So we came. I must say that our first impression about the hospital was fantastic. Uh, we thought that this was uh, one of the institutions which is usually seen in the worst. Uh, but we found it here. It was professionalism among the staff and the care that we received. We arrived on, on Sunday. Same Sunday we start, started assessment. Monday, they did all, all the assessments. Tuesday, I was in, uh, uh, in the theater. By 3 o'clock, they had started work on me. 7 o'clock, I opened my eyes and I was in the ICU. Uh, two, three days later, I was sent to the ward. And uh, a week after that, I was almost doing things for myself. And, uh, uh, I would say that at this point, I want to thank Dr. Shuda again uh, and his team. They have done a, a fantastic job. And I want to appeal to others who have similar conditions.